Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I'm once again taking a look at one of your designs that you recommended me in the comment section of one of my videos or even on mod.io. For today, we are looking at another small fighter that puts the brand new weapons to very good use. This is the Atlas Fighter, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small block fighter that features one hell of a lot of firepower. If we were to come over to tab number one and start firing the guns, look at them, look at the auto cannons. It's just like a Gatling auto cannon, which is how fast they're all firing. And we also have our assault cannons, which will move the vehicle slightly backwards. So do be aware of that when you're firing it, because it might get a bit wonky. But anyway, pressing F10 and find it in the spawn menu. The Atlas says it's 2,594 small blocks, but it does use the Warfare 2 and Wasteland DLC packs. It has no information whatsoever, on the Steam Workshop page. So we'll give this thing a thumbs up. I'll just double click this, spawn it in. In fact, I'll need to get out of the cockpit, so out we come. There we go. Now we we'll just paste it in over here, where it's actually only 870 small blocks, which is a little bit lower than what it was suggesting. But yes, as for that, we'll now take a quick look around the outside. We'll see what I can do. Then I'm sure I'll find an asteroid and slam it straight into it. Bring the sun all the way back around. Like that, that'll do quite nicely. At the very front here, this is what we get. So front and center, we can see a camera to help aim all of our guns precisely with a window block just in front of it for some additional protection. To the left and right of that is our assault cannons. And then to the left and right of that, we got the auto cannons. We can also see our wasteland spotlights on the left and right hand side. And then surrounding the entire vehicle, we've got these lovely battered armored gray, white, and light blue blocks. So if we were to start to move all the way around onto the side here, there is a spotlight on the very edge. And as we were to move around onto the side there, you can see the fighter cockpit of how we're going to fly this thing around. Then all the way over to here, we've got ourselves another piece of glass where behind it, and this is the same on the opposite side, where we've got a programmable block sitting right behind it. We also have a lovely access panel right next to this, which is very handy so you don't have to get into the cockpit to access stuff, change stuff if you need it. But yes, as for the programmable block, if you were to come into here and find it, one of them will not have anything on so that, it's just a free block to do whatever. But one of them does have the ship refueler script, which is a very handy little thing. Coming out of that and continue it along, we've got a beacon on this side with an antenna on the opposite. Turning the camera all the way around to over to here. Here are some more auto cannons. We've got some hydrogen thrusters, some ion thrusters. We are good for both space and planets. And we've got some fantastic use of our hazard skin. We've got another traditional spotlight on the side, just in case we need it. As we were to move all the way around onto the side, we we'll see our dark gray blocks, even more hazard skin blocks, a couple more hydrogen thrusters, a couple more ion thrusters, help on our left and right hand side. And all the way up and above there, we can see our auto cannon turret for some automated firepower. If I was to put my light on like so and start to move all the way around onto this section, we'll see even more ion thrusters. If we were to start to move around towards the very back here, we'll then see our heat vents, which will activate on 60% power, which happens to be the power you use when moving forwards. So as we start to move forwards, we'll be able to see the yellow glow coming off this, as well as the ones on top. All the way around towards the very back here, this is what's going to push us along. So we've got two large iron thrusters, one large hydrogen thruster, and then a bunch of small ones of both types. If we were to move all the way up and above, we'll see the start of many armored panels in the dark gray battered armored skin, and the hazard skin along the side. Coming all the way up and looking down, we'll see our thrusters at the back there. There's our auto cannon turret just wandering around looking for enemies. There's some more iron thrusters. And there's some more heat vents right next to our fighter cockpit, which will, like the other ones, open up at 60% power. Towards the front there, there's all of our auto cannons. And there is our assault cannons at the very front. Coming all the way down and underneath, we've got some landing gear to land this thing down on. And putting my light on because it's quite dark under here, this is what we get. So we've got a bunch of hazard skins continuing along the bottom of this thing. Even more iron thrusters, even more hydrogen thrusters. We have two more landing gear. We've got ourselves a connector to recharge itself and to load some more ammunition into the ship. Then towards the back there, there are some more armored panels just covering up our large iron thrusters. And so there we go. That is a very brief look around the outside of the Atlas fighter. And it does look fantastic with how it's all been done. <laughs> I really like how all the auto cannons just fire together to create that gatling look. Look at that go. Yes, enough of that, bring up the HUDs. In fact, we'll come into my character view like so. Number one, coincidentally, is the auto cannons to fire them all together. Number two is for our assault cannons, which, like I said, will move the vehicle back. So 
There we go. We just move just about at 0.5 meters per second for a split second. Number three is for our camera, which is right behind our bulletproof piece of glass next to our assault cannon, where we can precisely aim everything and hopefully not waste too much ammo. Number six is to turn on and off the turret at the top there. So there we go, that's now turned off. Then seven and eight is for our thrusters all the way around the ship. Just looking at the back here, pressing number seven, it turns off all the ion thrusters in all directions. And then number eight will be the same for the hydrogen thrusters. So putting that back on, number nine is for our connector underneath to lock and lock it. Then on tab number two, we've got a beacon on and off, and then antenna on and off. And there we go. So now what we can do is just a quick little test flight to see how this thing handles. So moving forwards, we've got some nice speed. Thanks to all those thrusters at the back there, and they are creating a rather lovely glow. Coming to a stop, this is what we get. So we've got some nice stopping speed. Don't have to worry too much about crashing into anything if you're not prepared to stop in time. And we could always do a 180 if needed to stop ourselves a little bit quicker. Moving left. And then moving right, we've got some nice speed up with that. Not the fastest thing in the world, but it generally doesn't have to be. Moving down. And then moving up. Moving up feels a lot faster than everything else. In fact, I think it's a little faster than moving forwards. And moving down is a little bit slower and feels more like left and right. If it was to wiggle the mouse around, this is what we get. It's a very nice, very well balanced fighter, in fact. It's got a little bit of weight, which is what I like, but it's still very responsive with where you're going. So it's only going to be dragging a little bit. But yes, you can always fix that by adding some more gyroscopes, turning down gyroscopes. It's personal preference at the end of the day. And with that all done and out of the way, now it's time to find an asteroid and we'll slam it into it and we'll see what kind of damage we can deal. Well, instead of crashing into an asteroid, what I've done is found a proper little pirate. Here is their crashed little ship, so they should still have some turrets on here. So we're just going to grab hold of our guns. Now I'm going to zoom all the way in and we'll see what kind of damage we can deal with all of those auto cannons firing at the same time. That's probably going to be out of range. Yes, it is. Now it's time to just start pummeling into them. If we were to come out of the camera and start to move around, that's not going to help too much and we're going to be missing horribly. And there we go. That's going to be dealing a nice lot of damage. Shouldn't have to worry too much. In fact, I don't even think they've got any turrets on this. So there we go. We're now going to remove them block by block. And we do have... Oh, there is a turret right there. Let's see where they are. There they are. We're now going to start firing at that. Going to get rid of that. Going to switch to the assault cannon straight into their hydrogen thruster. Going to deal a nice lot of damage. We can see the turret on top is trying to disable their guns, which I think is firing from over there. And yes, this thing is hitting a nice lot of damage. Don't think there's anything on this pirate crash ship that's going to be able to take on this small fighter with the sheer amount of firepower I have. But I'm sure they'll have some kind of surprise around here. I don't think they do. Have to bring the light back around because it is a little bit hard. And we've lost our camera effect. That's kind of odd. And there we go. But yes, as for that, there's not too much else to talk about. But the Alice fighter it is a lovely little fighter with a lot of firepower and a great design. And there'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around for it yourself. I'd recommend you Dukes is a fun little fighter. And anyway, with that hydrogen tank gone, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with another video on point soon. Bye bye.